Hello, students. Welcome to the class today. My name is Wendy Osorio. Remember, you need to stay at home, enjoying with your family, and study each of your classes. Don't forget, wash your hands and wear your mask. Okay, my dear students, the topic for today is future games. Going to. Let's start with the verb. The first one is to study. Look at the picture, please, and repeat after me. To study. The next one. Look at the picture, please. To clean. Repeat after me. To clean. To make. Good. Repeat, please. To make. To be. Repeat, please. To be. Okay, I have two pictures with the same meaning. To visit. Repeat, please. To visit. To do. Repeat, please. To do. To play. Okay, go ahead. Repeat, please. To play. Okay, I have two pictures with the same meaning. To meet. To meet. Repeat, please. To meet. Okay, I have some examples about affirmative sentences. Okay, number one is, I am going to do my homework. Repeat, please. I am going to do my homework. Excellent. One more time, please. I am going to do my homework. Good. The next one. He is going to be a doctor. Repeat, please. He is going to be a doctor. Yes, good. One more time, please. He is going to be a doctor. Good. Okay, they are going to visit their family. Repeat, please. They are going to visit their family. Good. They are going to visit their family. Okay, let's continue with the negative sentences. We are not going to make a cake. Repeat. We are not going to make a cake. One more time, please. We are not going to make a cake. Next example, I am not going to meet Emma today. Repeat, please. I am not going to meet Emma today. One more time. I am not going to meet Emma today. Okay, thank you very much. She is not going to clean her house. Repeat, she is not going to clean her house. Okay, excellent. She is not going to clean her house. Good. We are going to follow with the interrogative sentences example. Are they going to visit their family? Is she going to travel next Monday? 
Okay. Repeat, please. Are they going to visit their family? Good. One more time, please. Are they going to visit their family? The next example. Is she going to travel next Monday? One more time. Repeat, please. Is she going to travel next Monday? Are you going to study English tonight? Repeat. Are you going to study English tonight? One more time. Are you going to study English tonight? Okay, what do you need to make a sentence in affirmative form? Okay, you are gonna need a subject, in this case is she, and then you need a verb to be, in this case is is, then going to, then verb, in this case is to be, and then the complement, the last part of the sentence is and this case is a teacher. Okay, she is going to be a teacher because you need a subject, a verb to be, then going to, verb, and complement. Okay, and what do you need in order to make a negative sentence? Okay, I have an example. She is not going to be a teacher. You are going to need a subject, she, verb to be, is, then not, going to, plus verb, is the verb to be, and then a teacher again. This is the complement and the last part of the sentence. She is not going to be a teacher. This is the negative example. Okay, here I have... A question example. Is she going to be a teacher? You are going to need verb to be, subject, going to, verb, and plus complement. And remember that you need to add at the end of the question, the question mark. Okay, let's read this conversation letter a hello how are you anna letter b i am fine thank you samuel letter a are you going to be a teacher letter b no i am going to be a doctor letter a right i am going to be a teacher letter b Excellent. My brother is going to be a teacher too. Okay, we are going to read it again. Letter A. Repeat after me, please. Hello. How are you, Anna? Letter B. I am fine. Thank you, Samuel. Letter A. Are you going to be a teacher? Letter B. No, I am going to be a doctor. Letter A. Great, I am going to be a teacher. Letter B. Excellent, my brother is going to be a teacher too. Okay, now we have the practice time. Okay, I have a reading for you. Please, first listen and then repeat. Hannah is an actress. She is planning to travel to Peru. She's going to travel next Friday and she's going to stay in Peru for three weeks. She's going to eat traditional food in Peru. Hannah has friends in Lima, so 
She is going to be there and she's going to visit her friends. Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Hannah is an actress. She is planning to travel to Peru. She is going to travel next Friday and she is going to stay in Peru for three weeks. She is going to eat traditional food in Peru. Hannah has friends in Lima. So, she is going to be there and she is going to visit her friends. Good. Excellent. And now I have some questions for you. What is Hannah going to travel the next Friday? Okay, we have three options. Letter A, Honduras, letter B, Peru, and letter Z, Guatemala. What is the answer? Yes, of course, the letter B. The answer is Peru. The next question is, how many days is Hannah going to stay in Peru? Letter A, two weeks. Letter B, two days. Letter C, three weeks. What is the correct answer? Yes, that's right. Letter C, three weeks. And the last question for you is, what kind of food is Hannah going to eat in Peru? Letter A, traditional food. Letter B, healthy food. Letter C, junk food. What do you think? This is the correct answer. Good. The correct answer is letter A. Traditional food. Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. God bless you always. Take care a lot. And see you soon. Bye. Bye.